Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we will be making the registration system for our car rental project. So previously we had integrated the admin dashboard, but you can see anybody is able to access this. So we have to make the registration first and then the login system for that. So only the admin can access the admin page. So first we need a database. So in my local host, I have created a database called car rental and you can see there are no tables over here. So first let us connect this database to our PHP code. So over here, you can just create another folder called config. And inside the config, we can keep a new file called dbcon.php, which stands for database connection. And over here, you have to specify four things. One is your host, username, password, and database name so we'll just write that dollar host is equal to local host dollar username is equal to root so by default it will be root and the password is going to be null so if you have changed it you can just make the changes here accordingly and our database name so i'll say db name equals and i will paste my database name which is car rental okay so now let us connect to the database you have to call the function over here my sqli connect which takes in these parameters so the first parameter is your host and then the username dollar username dollar password and your db name okay and we will store the return value of this in a variable called con okay connection and over here you can check if dollar con then we can echo connected to database else echo database connection error so our database connection is ready now. We can test this by adding this in the index.php or here require and we have to go one step above. So that is dot dot slash and now you are in the main root folder where we need to go inside the config and the dbcon.php. Okay. And now you can just refresh this and see connected to database over here. And if you have a mistake over here, so maybe you have given the wrong database name. I will just make a mistake over here and refresh. You can see you've got an error unknown database. So I'll just make that correct. Save and refresh. And I'll just comment out this thing. We don't want to show that everywhere. For debugging, you can just keep that. Okay, save refresh yeah so first we need to create a table over here called users where we will register the users and these are the columns which we will store in the users table okay we need these many fields in our table so these are 18 fields so i will just change this to 18 and click on go so i will just split my screen Okay, so the first column is ID and this is going to be an integer and this will be our primary key, right? So you can just scroll a bit and over here you have the auto increment, right? You have to check that. Okay, and now you can just scroll to your left. And then we have the name, email, password, and the phone, alternate phone number, address, have role, 
so similarly we just need to create these fields and let us just set the data type as well along with the fields so the name is going to be varcare and i'll keep the length as 191 email is again varcare 191 password is going to be you can keep varcare itself and we'll keep the length 255 and phone i can keep varcare the alternate phone is going to be varcare and 25 and for this we are going to allow nullable so alternate phone is not mandatory so you can just check this for the alt phone as nullable and the address is going to be varcare again you can keep medium text if you want to store uh, big string values but i'm just keeping it to varcare and the role is going to be again varcare of 50 and for this i have a default value as defined so by default whoever register is a user okay and is ban is going to be a tiny integer with the two or you can also keep it one and is ban as defined zero so by default the is ban status will be zero for each user so they are not banned if you want to ban any user then this will be changed to one and that user is banned is verified this is again going to be a tiny integer one has defined zero so by default a user is not verified only after he provides the document he will be verified and then we have the remarks this is again going to be varcare of maybe you can keep thousand because you can give a longer remark as well and this is nullable okay and the dl number created at and this is going to be type date by default current timestamp okay and yeah so this is of no use now you can just close that and let us just check once name is not nullable email password phone alt phone is nullable address can be nullable during time of registration rule we have a default value these things are default remarks is nullable and all these things are nullable okay so during registration these things will not have any values so you can just allow null values for this document submitted so this will be tiny integer of one and as defined zero okay id proof number is you can keep it as a uh, varchar because there are some id proofs which have uh, alphanumeric characters you can give this as 191 id proof type is again and say 191 the dl image back can keep it as 255 dl image front keep it as 255 or you can even keep this as 500 because when you upload an image to any server or anywhere where your url is a bit lengthy then this might cause an issue for you dl number is going to be where care of 50 would be sufficient and i think yes we are good to go everything looks good and we can click save so our users table is created now so as the video is getting longer we will continue the registration process in the next video where we will be integrating bootstrap and setting up the layout in the front end for the user side okay so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you